Yo, what is up? So, I've been trying to get FSR 4 into this game, Dying Light 2, but it's impossible because, and it does say this is inc incompatible on the OptiScaler GIT hub uh, list, so it's not going to work, but you can actually get FSR 3.1. I've checked here and it does look pretty good. It looks a lot better than FSR 2. And you can also do this in control, so that is another option. And you can get frame generation as well uh, within the game. So you're using the DOSS presets in the game. So that, that is uh, really good because I did check it out and you'll see how much better it looks. So what we're going to do, I've uninstalled everything because it is a bit complicated. So, you will need a few mods, which I will put in the description. But, so, the first the first thing we're going to do is, uh, you install the Nukem frame gen and the fake Mbappé. So, I, I think, uh, it was a bit similar to my Alan Wake 2 video, where you would install this, then you load up the game. Uh, but we're also going to install, uh, where is it? I'll put this in the description. It's a DOSS unlocker. Because another problem, there's two problems with this one. You can install OptiScaler, but it won't uh, show you the DOSS when you go into the game preset. So that's why you need that DOSS unlocker. Then you can get access to frame generation and all that. So... This is the best way to experience it on AMD at this point. I think the guy who made this up to scale will probably update this so you can get FSR 4 in the future. But if you want to play it, no, this is the best experience and it is pretty good, as I said. So what you want to do, you want to go Steam. Open up the folder and this is where it goes, PH work bin x64 and everything's at default for me now so this is the best way to show you because there's a lot to do um so you just be sold first this will be under nukem frame bin i'll put in the description so we're just gonna copy these over Coffee. Coffee that. Then you want to put fake Mbappé in because this works with the frame generation within the game menu. So when you use Nukem frame gen, that, that allows you to use the in-game menus because it just over overwrites NVIDIA's. That's what it does. Opti frame gen, if you that don't seem to work in the game opti frame gen. So you don't usually need these files when you use that in the opti scaler menu. That's literally how it works. So uh do you do that? Then you will need the DOSS unlocker. I did use this in my Plague Tale video as well. Yeah, just copy all that. I'll put that under DLSS unlocker in the in the description. And this is the order you've got to do it in. Right. Then you just put the optoscaler in. And you set it up. One. One for AMD. 
one for DOSS inputs. That don't matter. That still worked. So if you get that, just ignore it. It should work. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to load up the game. You can get them. Another thing is uh, you can't actually navigate the optoscale menu with the mouse. You've got to use the arrows. So you go up like that and then press enter on what you want to change. But that won't come up yet. So let's have a look. So we've got DLSS, which is what you want it on. Again, so what we've got there. But we're not going to change it in that. So. Go into the game. So we're going to basically execute the command. Because I did have some crashing issues before when I tried to put FSR 3X on. We obviously won't get FSR 4 but you will get 3.1. So it is literally better than nothing and it does look better than FSR 2. But what we want to do first is you want to... Because what we're going to do with this we're going to just leave it in the on this, oh, well, it don't really matter, but we can update that to FSR 3.1 in the any settings, which I'm going to show you. So you need to enable this new frame gen, which we've installed, and then you've got to use the arrows because it won't let you do it with the mouse for some reason in this game. Save any, so that's definitely saved. Press enter, close. Quit the game. Alright, so we've done all that. So now we're going to go back into the game folder. PH work bin x64 and you need to find this object scaler right underneath the setup that's where it always is so you can edit all the commands in here object scaler configuration settings and what you want to do that's because uh that's what it was on when it looks in the game you want to change that to fsr31 Save that. That puts it on basically uh, FSR 3X because I'm pretty sure, and I tried to do that in the menu. I've got some issues crashing or something. You can try it in the menu, but I, I thought this, at least this way it makes sure without any silly crashes. And this frame gen there, that's what we enabled, so that's why it's come up Nukem S because the frame gen is on. So you can you do that and then you want to scroll down to avoid any crashes because if it does try and force FSR 4 on which won't work in the game it will crash so you need to keep going down to FSR and you will need to change that to false. And that should be 3.1 when you go into the game. So it, all, it just changes it. That's the alternative way. And you can do that in control as well. So we load it back up. Shouldn't have no problems.
Oh yeah, so I've, I think uh, for the games at the moment we ain't getting FSR 4 because of a crash or something. I think this is a really good alternative because definitely makes it better, makes the image quality sharper. Definitely in control it that because FL FSR 2 is definitely a lot worse than uh, FSR 3.1. So it's about getting the best experience you can get at the moment. That's what this video is about in games where and the and the good thing it's actually you can do this on any AMD GPU as far as I know. So we press insert and that you can see we've got 3.1. So FSR 3.1 is on. Is that? So that's good. Press insert. And the beauty is you can actually, if I get my thing up. Alright, so. So I'm getting about 95. That seems to change depending on the day cycle. So at night you get a bit more than that, just over 100. It knocks itself down a bit. But it's still getting more than enough. Because this is actually uh, maxed out. This is at 1440p, 3440. And I've got all the max ray tracing settings. It's all maxed out, basically. As you can see. So you're getting the best settings. Uh, that'd be quality F FSR 3.1. So, I mean, you could use DLSS, but it's an older version of DLSS, and I personally like a sharper image. And in this game, it does look pretty good. So, I mean, I'd say FSR 3.1, because uh, it does look really good in quite a few games. Uh, so, what we'll do is you can actually, if you've got that on, because that works with that M fake Mbappé file we got. And you can just put frame generation on. There, see? Now you've got all that extra FPS. Now I do think this is the best way to play the game, to be honest. I mean... Yeah. It's definitely better than FSR2, as I said. Yep, so now that's on, it says. Yeah. It does look better than FSR2, definitely. So that is the best experience around it at the moment. Looks pretty, I do really like this game, so. Yeah, it's definitely uh, the first game was really good in this. Hmm. Yeah, so you should be able to do this on uh, any AMD GPU. So. Let's just quit out of this. Yeah, so that's the best experience at the moment. For Dying Light 2. And as I said, you can do that in control. You can update it to 3.1 just by changing them commands I showed you in the OptiScaler settings. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.